Hey my squidlings, Katie here. I hope you're having an absolutely squidlicious day. Today we're going to be opening this Art Snacks box. Yay! So this is the birthday, anniversary, whatever you want to call it, Art Snacks box. It is March 2018 and I'm really, really excited. Their uh, anniversary boxes are always amazing. They always have a great value, so um, I'm very excited to find out what's in it. If you don't know what Art Snacks is, basically they are an art supply subscription box that you can get every single month. And they are $24 a month plus free shipping to United States people and $24 plus $10 shipping if you live internationally. You usually get four to six items um, and they're usually full size. They can be pens, pencils, paints, um, sometimes they'll include little papers. Uh, and in this box they teased a little something that was embroidered so I'm very excited to see what it is. Before I open the box, I want to let you know that I do have a Patreon, and it helps support getting boxes like this one and the Palletful Packs box that you will see next week. Spoiler alert! And speaking of the Palletful Packs box, actually, all of my patrons have already seen me unbox that, so if you're interested in that, winning things like free art goodies and getting prints sent to you every single month in the mail, click right up there, and you can go and be entered and all that good stuff. So, let's open this box now that I have chatted enough. I'm really excited. So first off, let's get this candy out here. So uh, it is a Warheads Extreme Sour, and it's cherry. Unfortunately, it's cherry, but I do love sour candy, so I'll still probably eat that. So here is the card, and I kind of want to set it to the side. I don't really want to look at it because I want to just kind of tear through this. So first off, actually, I'm going to get this out of the bag. So first off, we have this adorably cute Art Snacks pencil case. So this was the thing that they tease, a little embroidered uh, pencil bag. Um, oh, it's got two zippers, so you can like separate what you take. That is freaking awesome. I'm so excited. I can never have too many pencil bags. I don't usually travel too much, but when I do, I will be sporting this for sure. Look at this gorgeous tealy aqua color, too. It's so pretty. So, that this is awesome. Uh, speaking of this, it is a $13.25 retail. It is a limited edition Art Snacks exclusive because it's their birthday month. Yeah, I think this is really awesome, and it's just a sturdy pouch. Like, it... It's really thick and sturdy, and it'll be really good for holding art supplies, so I'm very, very excited for this. <gasps> oh no! And by oh no, I mean oh yes! So, we got some stickers in the mail, so this is like their Plum Chester sketchbook, a little cake, a little art snacks, pretzel pencil, uh, art snacks, a little palette, um, a pencil, and a paintbrush, and there's stickers! So, uh, on the card, this is just kind of like a little bonusy birthday present, and this is just perfect. I love it! Everything else seems to be in here, so I'm going to push this up, and I'm going to kind of display these in a somewhat cute manner, which I'm not super good at, but you know. Alright, so let us open this and have a difficult time while doing so, as always. that wasn't so bad so we've got four things here and two of which I'm ridiculously familiar with so first off we have a Copic multi liner in 0.05 this is black uh, lately it's been one of my favorite colors to use in my art um, which <laughs> a lot of people would be like don't use this color but you know what do what makes you happy uh, it's waterproof Copic proof and pigment ink which is really nice it is also a $3.99 retail. Then, it doesn't look like I have this color, but I don't have too many yellows, so... Okay, this... I do not have this color, yay. Uh, this is a Y15 Copic Chow. I actually will buy Copic Chows if they're available in that color. Like, um, I don't know. I just <laughs> I can't justify spending uh, the sketch price for every marker I have. They're, these are just as good as the sketches, but anyway, I'm not going to get too much into that. This is a Copic Child double-ended marker. It says a $5.49 retail, but um, I can certainly find this for a lot cheaper at other places, and I normally spend like $3.50 for mine, so... Um, I think when I add the retail price up, I'm actually going to put the $3.50 because you can get these way cheaper other places. But I'm very excited for not having a duplicate. Yay! And then the last two items are something I'm not really familiar with. These are Lyra uh, Farbreason Farb 
uh, color giants. Uh, these are giant colored pencils. Uh, these are $1.94 retail each, so basically $2 a pencil. This is a staff favorite of the month, and they're just oversized, highly pigmented colored pencils, great for laying down large areas of color and all that good stuff, so I'm very excited to uh, play with these supplies. I actually love this primary vibe I've got going on here. I love working in the primaries, so I'm really excited. Um, so again, here are all the supplies. We've got a pencil case, we've got a couple of Copic products, we've got a couple of Lyra products, some amazing stickers that I'm going to stick all over my sketchbook, and a warhead up there. Plus, I got a question for you. How do artists greet each other? Don't know? They say, yellow! <laughs> it's on the Art Snacks menu and it's just the cheesiest and cutest thing in the world. I love when they add little jokes, so I'm very excited. So, uh, I'm going to be creating something with all of these supplies. Aside from the stickers, I'm going to be sticking those somewhere else and obviously can't create anything with the pencil case, but with these supplies I will be creating something, so I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy. So let's get started with that art. Hey, look, it's time to swatch out these delicious art supplies. So first off, start with that Copic liner. Then I go over to the Copic Chow, swatch that out a little bit, and then I swatch out the Lyra colored pencils. So, before I get too much into the video, I want to let you guys know that with the discount of the $3.50 for the Copic Chow, this box comes to $24.92. However, if you just include all the prices that they put on the menu, it is $26.61. Um, one thing I did not add into that was the stickers, and sticker sheets are actually kind of expensive to make and buy and stuff, so I added about $3 for that, so... Uh, if you add $3 to either of those prices that I said, uh, that's probably around the price of this box. Uh, this box is chock full of stuff, and I think they included a lot of great supplies, and I'm really happy with the selection. So anyway, basically, um, if you're international, of course, shipping kind of offset that price, but uh, the base price of the box, you still got your money's worth, so that's always good. So now let's talk about this piece a little bit. So as you may know already, I've got primary colors. So I got a yellow, a blue, and red. <laughs> and needless to say, those were honestly kind of hard for me to work with. I had the hardest time coming up with something to draw, but I came up with this. Um, I decided to go a little bit out of my comfort zone, do a kind of a cool pose, and maybe add some armor, which I'm terrible at. Um, and just kind of go with it. Uh, with the marker, I really wanted to be kind of sketchy when I colored with it, so I had a lot of fun with that. And the colored pencils, of course, I used, as you can tell right now, to kind of block in some color. I will say that I didn't like these colored pencils too much, but I also just am really rusty with colored pencils, so that just could be the problem. Uh, they were really thick. For some reason, they were kind of uncomfortable in my hand. Maybe it's just because of my big, chunky hands. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but basically, with the colored pencils, I tried to add pops of color. And then with the yellow marker, I added color to her outfit, her boots, uh, all that stuff, her eyes, I think. And then I do add it in the background. Uh, realizing that was a mistake, I do go outline some of this picture with a colored pencil after that, but, you know. So, as far as the supplies are concerned, like I already said, I didn't really care too much for the colored pencils. They're not something I plan on grabbing anytime soon. Uh, however, um, of course, you may know that I love my Copics, and I'm so glad that I did not get a duplicate, so... Uh, that is okay in my book. And I got a 0 0.05 liner, which will be great for some really fine detail, so I'm excited about that. So as you can tell, I'm also doing some shading with this colored pencil, and the nice thing about the paper I used is that it is super smooth, so it made it really easy to kind of blend these colored pencils out with just my finger, so yay for that. Um, I, all in all, you know, this isn't my best piece in the world, but I did have a lot of fun experimenting with, you know, this pose and these products and stuff, so all in all, this was a really fun box to just kind of experiment with, play around with some supplies and all that stuff. So now I am going in with the Copic Multiliner, adding some black details. At first, I was only just going to add them to the face, uh, and I will switch off the camera in a second, but I do end up adding a black outline to the edges of the picture just to kind of accentuate it a little more. Uh, but then after that, I decided I wanted the yellow background, so the black outlines really didn't matter because I ended up outlining everything with a blue colored pencil. So, you know, you as you do art, you kind of 
keep going and you change things as you go. And that is exactly what happened to this piece. So yeah, we're filling in that background now and then I'm adding that color pencil. So we're going to be looking at the final piece in just a second. I do add some highlights with a uniball pen because yeah, I can't live without that thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I want to thank you all so incredibly much for watching. I love you guys so much, and you guys are just absolutely the best. If you got an Art Snacks box, let me know in a comment down below what colors you got. And if you create anything with the Art Snacks box, use the hashtag squidoodlin with Katie, and I would love to see it. So yeah, until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!